The shoot of my hand. This is Barcel Outdoors, presented by the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's up guys, I'm Sydney Wells and welcome back to Barcelona Outdoors. I am the Florida Keys right now with my friend Randy, my new friend Randy, yeah. we're on his boat. We're about to catch a shit ton of fish, maybe do some bow fishing. Let's get it, all right? All right, there you go. I've never caught a tuna before, right? Real quick. Okay. He's gonna come at you, just keep reeling and try to keep him yeah. on bait out. You gotta try to keep him and get him in fast. The shark's gonna be on him. All right. Oh yeah, nice yeah. tuna. All right, right there, nice and easy. Swing him in. Swing him in. Oh, yeah. There you go. Black yeah! Oh, get ready, get ready. All right. Get him, Randy. Oh, who wants this one? Scarlet, get in there. Rip that one. Watch your toes. Can a bow? Get it, Scarlet. Get it, Scarlet. Keep reeling. He's coming right at you. One scar. Okay, so Scarlet's hooked into a tuna. She is an experienced tuna fisher, though. She lives in Georgia on the salt. She's in the salt water all the time, too. And it looks like she's about to bring it up. What do you got, Scar? Nice one. Go ahead and pull him out. Oh, yeah, tight. Messed up. He's got another one, baby. Oh! Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep running from the shark. Reel as fast as you can. Yeah, he came off. Damn it. Amateur. How are the sharks here? The sharks are bad. The other day we seen a school of 50 right here. What kind of yeah. sharks? We see a lot of bronze whalers, some makos out here. And they're chasing after the fish. Yeah, they're as coming up after the tuna. As fast as we're reeling, they're coming after them. Oh, they're coming after them. As soon as they stop, they're coming up to bite them. And we get 10 tuna a boat. Yep. All right, we're, we have two. Two so far and in about two minutes. That's good. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, no, I know it all that matters. Be a dickhead and be fucking stupid. <laughs> As you can tell, it gets a little heated out here. Everybody's trying to catch fish. These guys to my right don't like us, obviously. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I got that vibe. Oh, we're all on bait trying to catch fish. We're all here for the same reason. Um, these guys to our right don't like that we're here for that reason. So uh, <laughs> let's kind of catch some fish and maybe uh, make them pretty happy. So we're out here live baiting right now. Essentially what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting a bunch of baits out in the water and we're over top of a mountain, underwater mountain range right now. And so the tunas naturally live here and they're waiting for the bait already. So you throw some out and they're already there. Like any other fishing, it's best to always fish in the mornings or afternoons. And Clay and I were just talking about the different, like, different fish, the different species in here, the leaders we use, the line, similar to like turp and tuna have amazing eyesight. Yeah, they're down deep all day long and then seeing baits on the surface come up and be popping on the bait. So when they're up there on the surface, that's usually when you get your bite. So you're using a little bit of lighter leader always then because they're going to come up and be eating it. Do you guys like fishing for turpin? Oh, yeah. He does. When it's good, when it's good, it's good. I like it sometimes. I think, so I caught a tarpon for the first time last year and like they weren't any crazy size. I mean, maybe 25 pounds, 30 pounds. I mean, nothing like ginormous. Yeah. But it was so cool when they were jumping out of the water oh, and, yeah. and how you had to keep the line so straight. Migrating tarpon, they come yeah, across in the Gulf Stream. So we were out here dolphin fishing a few miles off, like 27 off, and we were running and seeing something splashing off a few miles. and. Uh, Ended up being a great white attacking the migrating tarp, and it was like 14 foot. And he actually went airborne with a tarp, and that was like that big around. You saw it? Yeah, went airborne. When he floated up next to the boat, there was a half moon taken out of his stomach, 
and the great white circled the boat a couple times and just grabbed them and went down with them. But there was like eight tarpon with no scales with a huge chump slick. Like around all these boats was just scales. It was crazy. Two oh on. Yeah! Pump it! <laughs> Pump it! Pump it real good. Just keep it tight. Pull up, reel down. Wide, Dugan, wide! <laughs> that should be a real nice fish. Oh, right there. Meme, another bait. Do I see Got it? it? I see it. Ah, I put see the, it. Put the gas to her ass. Hey, he's tight. Who wants this one? Who wants it? Get it, Kristen. Get it, Kristen. Oh, hell yeah. That's a big one. He's feeling. He's feeling. There it is. Oh, it's a big one. That's a nice one. Nice ass tuna. Get behind the line. Okay. Get behind it. Just take your time. Take your time. Stick him, stick him, stick him. Oh, you got him, man. That was the smoothest gas shot I've ever seen. Put, bring him in. Bring him in. That was the smoothest one I've ever seen. Hell yeah. Oh, he just shit all over me. Damn, she stuck that one good. All right, let him out on the drift. First drift back again. Didn't take too long and landed a nice blast in there. Oh, Chris is right here. Grab a gaff. Hell yeah. You guys still look out of breath. The morning just started, so this isn't a wrap up video, guys. We are just getting started. We got a bunch of blackfin tuna. We got a little mahi back here, too, that Macy's holding. But the girls are running the boat. The guys are helping a little bit, I should say. Maybe <laughs> throwing the bait out, but we're the ones doing all the dirty work. And check these out. This is a good morning, good start. What do you guys think? Yeah. Good morning. This is so much fun. My arm already hurts and it just uh, shows that I need to get in the gym a little bit more. But uh, let's keep it rolling. Woo! <laughs> he doesn't need fins to dive. He can dive 80 foot, no fins. So <laughs> Craziest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Built in leaf springs. <laughs> oh my God. I'm playing of attack, you see it. I'm studying the islands right here. Trying to see what our next move's gonna be. My head down a big pine. Never know. <laughs> I'm just an island boy. The <laughs> dolphin. Oh, you guys ready for this? We're gonna go to the shoot of mahi. Oh yeah, we got a nice mahi on. Oh, shit's getting higher. If I go in, I'm okay. Hit our ballyhoo back there. I let him eat it for a couple seconds. I'm just gonna sit here and see if we can't shoot one or catch another one on the rod. We'll see what happens. Oh, there he is! Do we have more? Does he have more? Oh, he's cheesy. He's too deep. He's too deep. He's too deep. Oh! Oh, it was right there. Give me a mind. Ah! Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gonna come back. Oh my god! Dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. nice dolphin. So mahi-mahi, that's a cow right here. A bull have a squared off head. So that's how you know it's a cow, his head's not square. Macy over here's got another one on. This is a female right here, and this is a cow. Let's see. Hey, hey, get ready.
about to happen. I'm gonna find, try my first mahi. Okay. Ready? Do you like mahi a lot? Of course. Take a bite. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Tastes like chicken fingers. <laughs> They're delicious. I feel super accomplished. P to T, people would say. Megan making money does. Pond, in our case, ocean to table. So O to T, ocean to table. We like it. That's how we do it. Everybody's watching me. <laughs> Look behind us. Look at us, uh, crowd. <laughs> well, this mahi was delicious. The tuna was great. The guys did a great job of cooking. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for watching comment, Barcelona share, Outdoors. Get it. Um, dude, she pretty much stoned it. it. That's just the competitiveness. Stoned it. Like I don't think I've ever done anything with that much accuracy in my life. <laughs> I made her smile. <laughs> but you can't count it unless it's in the boat.